What's up everybody, Jan Dutters here with a brand new tutorial video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can use the blend tool to create some awesome stuff red. What we are going to create today is this beautiful number 3 and I'm going to show you how. I've been doing some sketching on forehand, this is the outline of the number 3 and the forms we need to create a blend with. At first what we want to create is we want to create these outlines to create a blend with. Okay, click on the pen tool, give it maybe a, a bright color. I'm going for green in this one. I'm going to get rid of the fill. So delete it. Select the pen tool, click and drag up. I'm just going to create the lines for now. So these are the lines for the top part and now we are going to create the bottom part. And as you can see when you click and drag without uh, releasing the click, you create two anchor points which you can adjust the curve red. Might be good, okay, nice. For this circle over here, we're going to use the ellipse tool. When you click in the center and hold Alt and Shift, it scales a perfect circle from the center. Okay, let's reduce the size a little bit. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, nice. As you might have seen in the first visual, this line is, has a big thickness. So I'm just going to create one form out of it. So I'm going to draw it with the pen tool. Okay, for now we can delete our sketch. I've put it in a separate layer and locked it so I can't accidentally move it. Okay, so we are going to toggle the visibility off. We're going to make a black outline out of it. Okay, make the stroke a little bit thicker. Okay, as you can see this curve isn't really nice. So we can adjust this with a smooth tool. When you select the curve or the path and you select the smooth tool, you can just drag over the line. It creates a more fluid line. Okay, so we now want to create the blend between those two lines. Select the two lines, go to blend, blend options, specified steps. And we are going to choose 15 for now. We can adjust this later on and press on OK. Then we go to object again to blend and to make now you can see it creates a really nice blend effect and I think there can be a little bit more lines in it. So we're going to blend again, blend options. We can add some numbers to the specified steps. I think 22 looks pretty good. We press on OK. Select the smooth tool again because I can see there are some like really weird things going on over here. So we can just like kind of um, smoothen this out with a smooth tool. I'm going to make some adjustments on the bottom as well. Okay. Uh, well, this one looks quite. Okay, this one over there is a little bit hard to get out of it. Um, okay. Okay, this looks pretty decent. We're going to give this a nice fill color of black. 
we're going to give it an outline as well okay nice we are going to add another blend to these two lines as well select them both go to object blend and make it gives it the same numbers as the one above but i think because this is a bigger form we can add more lines to it so go to object again blend blend options and make it something like 25 this looks pretty good nice okay man and then we are going to add a smaller circle in here also for making a blend we want to center this little circle in the middle so click one more time on the outer circle and we choose horizontal align to the center and now we have aligned it to the center select the two circles and now we are going to make a blend okay go to object blend make and then we are creating this nice little blend effect over here okay i'm going to move it a little bit to the left side okay and i'm going to make the fill black okay and now i'm going to fill this little circle in black double click on the object select the circle press on command c double click out of the element and we are going to paste the little circle on the same place which we do by holding shift alt command and press on v and now we are going to make the fill color to black this looks a little bit better when it's moved to the right side i think okay this looks pretty good thank you guys for watching hope you guys have learned something today if you did please drop a like comment and follow the channel and i'll see you in my next video later